Good day. This is the audio review of the Synology Disk Station DS412 Plus. The Disk Station DS412 Plus is a four bay diskless NAS, meaning you'll have to purchase your own disks to install them. So we're going to do a quick look and see what comes in the box right from the factory. It seems to come with the power cable, of course. Nothing new. The manual, the power supply. Oh, it even comes with network cables. And that's great. In case you don't have any Cat5e, you'll still be able to get the gigabit speeds that the device promises. Device is surprisingly light, I guess, without the discs in it. Uh, name on the side. eSATA, two USB 3 ports, power, and the LAN ports. There's another USB, looks like USB 2 port on the front. I'm going to be installing two terabyte Western Digital red drives. Uh, the, what makes the red drives so special is they're rated for 24 by 7 usage. But right now, this is one of the drives that Synology recommends for their disk stations. So let's get started on the innards. This cover pops right off, very easy. To access the base, just push up and pop the carriage out and the drives will go in these carriages. I was very tempted to not install all screws. Um, normally I don't uh, for hard drive cases and cages because I'm always taking drives in and out and I don't want to have to go through the process of taking out all four screws. But I want to give this device a fair shake. I don't want it to um, say that because a screw was loose that there was a problem. So I'm going to tighten everything just the way it should be. All right, so I'm finished with all the screws. Now, don't worry about these two leftover ones. Those are extras that Synology is nice enough to place in the bag. So let's put these drives in. Show you how easy that is. Make sure you get the click on each bay. That simple. It's a little bit time consuming to put in all the the uh, screws. I wish they had come up with a toolless installation, but you have to admit that the screws make for a tighter fit and um, much more secure. So let's go ahead and get this installed in the network. So now I've got the device plugged into my network and uh, the power light is just flashing to indicate it's not on. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on now. So at this point, a funny thing happened. The disk station comes with software called um, Disk Station Assistant, which probes the network and finds the device and gives you an opportunity to install your OS on it. According to the instructions, you just install the drives, run the Disk Station Assistant, follow the instructions about installing the OS, and then you're able to configure the disk station. However, in my case, the disk station assistant found nothing. I ran it a couple of times, couldn't find anything on the network. Did some troubleshooting, um, changed out ports, made sure I was getting an IP address, still couldn't find the disk station. So I went online and looked for some possible solutions. There were a few people complaining about an issue where the disk station assistant couldn't find anything, but no real resolution, except for one person who indicated after talking to support, they just had to pull out one drive from their two-bay disk uh, station, and then everything worked fine. Well, I tried that in a few different configurations, pulling out one drive, then installing the drives. Nothing seemed to work. Till... I figured out that you have to pull out all the drives except the fourth drive. 
At that point, the disk station assistant was able to find the device. I was able to install the software, and everything ran smoothly from that point on. I'm surprised more people haven't encountered this problem, and I'm surprised that a solution wasn't listed anywhere on the net. Hopefully, this will give people an opportunity to avoid this problem further on down the road. Okay, now I'm getting ready to do the configuration portion of the disk station. Um, after all the trouble getting through the setup, I was finally able to get everything going. So we're going to go to... I have it already set up in my network, so we're going to the disk station at port 5000. And you'll get a login screen and you're provided with a default login, which of course I've already changed. So here's your setup. You're able to see it, um, this is actually a Linux operating system, and you're able to get a lot of information. This is the external device I have set up. These are different backups that I've set up, different notifications. Uh, so this is a great information screen. Um, under file station, it will actually show you the shares that you have set up and how everything is broken down by the shares. This is the external USB drive I have set up. Under control panel, it almost looks like a Windows interface where you have the different privileges. You can set up groups, users, your network setup, um, how you have things configured. It can actually be configured as a router. Under your system settings, you have um, how your network is configured, external devices. So it's your basic control panel, how you actually manage the functionality of this disk station. Need. And here's another great thing about the disk station. There are different packages that you can install. Right now, I just have a photo station and a syslog server. But there are many things you can set up, antivirus checking, um, directory services, you can run LDAP right off the system, DHCP server. This can almost be a small business server. A great way to have your network set up, your storage. Um, you can do Radius, Mail. Two different mail server packages are available. VPN services. Um, and there are even third-party apps that you can install on here. It's a great little package. I'm very impressed with it. So far, it's been running for over a week, and I haven't had any issues. The uh, Western Digital Red Drives have been running fine. Haven't seen any problems there. Um, as you can see here from the status update, everything's working just fine. So all in all, in spite of the troubles that I had, and hopefully uh, this review will help you get through those problems, I think it was a great purchase, and I'm very pleased with it. I'll check back every so often to let you know how it goes. Thank you.